L.O.M. Craig, the Vicar of Chipping Camden, Ebrington and Nicholton. Uh, and I've come to record this a little bit out of my patch. And I think the obvious reasons for that are obvious as you look at the bluebells carpeting this wood. This wood is always a place of beauty and the clues that it's going to look magnificent uh, in late April are always here. The bluebell plants are always here, but at this time of the year they jump out uh, and you can't help but be struck by their beauty. And as I've been thinking about how spring comes slowly, but the clues are always there. So I've been thinking about how Easter comes slowly. The clues are always there, but it's sometimes it's much easier for us to hold on to the truth of the gospel, the truth of the resurrection and the difference it makes for me that I am loved and accepted by God. For the first disciples, Easter came slowly. They were confused, they were anxious, they were frightened. And it took repeated encounters with Jesus and different conversations for them to piece together the jigsaw of the resurrection and to understand what it meant for them. Mary met Jesus in the garden, but she mistook him for a gardener. The disciples on the road to Emmaus, the reading we had yesterday in church from Luke 24, beginning at the 13th verse, they took the journey with him, but only noticed, only recognised who he was when he broke the bread. This is a truth for us, that Easter is always true. The message of the gospel is always true, but at sometimes we can grasp that more clearly. We understand it more deeply. That joy bubbles up within us. We live life in all its fullness. This wood is always beautiful, but at the moment the beauty is stunning and we can't miss it. I pray that the beauty of the gospel, the truth of the resurrection, would be similarly apparent for you this week, this day, and indeed always.